Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. our channel one more time today I am filming in this makeup look it's like a it's like a pinky I don't know what I don't know what to call it it's really really pretty um, and I wore this to a wedding recently and I loved it so I redid it and I filmed it for you guys hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys want to see how I get this makeup look then just keep watching thanks guys Okay guys, so we're going to start off with this Caudalie, I think that's how you say it, um, face serum. And I love the serum, it feels so tacky um, and it's really good to put underneath my makeup. And then I'm also going to go in with the Caudalie um, moisturizing cream for the face. And then I'm going to let that soak in and I'm going to move into my eyes and I'm going to go in with the Master Conceal by Maybelline um, and it's in light medium. I'm going to prime my eyes with this and then I'm going to blend all of this out with the Real Techniques Mini Beauty Sponge. It's so cute. And I got all these sponges that you're going to see um, in a pack of four at Kohl's. So if I can find it, I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. Then I'm going to go into the Carly Bubble Palette and I'm going to take that cream shade with the Sephora foundation brush and I'm just going to set that concealer. Then I'm going to go into um, this peach shade with a Sephora round crease brush and I'm just going to go in like windshield wiper motions. And then I'm going to go in with that burnt orange shade and I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush um, and I'm just going to put that a little bit below that peachy shade um, and just go back and forth in windshield wiper motions but as you guys see I'm focusing a lot of the color towards the outer half of my eye. Then I'm going to go into that um, brown shade. It's like a light brown with this Earth Therapeutics crease brush. Um, and I am just going to keep this more centered towards like the outer V of my eye. Um, and then I'm going to lightly blend it into the inner corner of the eye crease. Blending really good with the windshield wiper motions. Then if there's any harsh lines, which there was, I'm going to go back in with that first um, crease brush and I'm going to blend all of this out um, with a little bit of that peach shade. Then I'm going to take this mauve shade and this modern, um, this Anastasia Modern Renaissance um, brush. It came with the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to go and blend and I feel like I just need a little bit of the mauve color to tie the whole look in. Then I'm going to go in with a dark brown from the palette and I'm going to go with the other side of the Anastasia brush and I'm going to focus this um, on my outer V. I'm also blending again. Um, the key is to blend here. Then I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics brush in number 6. And I'm going to wet that. And I'm going to go in this beautiful, like, really pinky, corally gold. It's such a beautiful um color from this palette um, and I love it so I wet it a little bit just to make it a little bit more intense um, and I'm going to put this up all the way up to my crease but I'm only going to put it like in the outer like two-thirds or in the inner two-thirds of my eye I'm going to go in with that dense side of the brush, or which we use the dark brown, and kind of blend the edges of that.
Then I'm gonna go in with a wipe and just clean up any fallout that could happen and sharpen up the outer V line. Then I'm gonna go into this Essence Waterproof Pencil. Love this um, eyeliner. Did I say pencil? <laughs> I'm an eyeliner. Um, and I'm just gonna line my latch line. <laughs> and I'm gonna make like a pretty fierce wing here. Uh, but I do try to keep it simple like always. But of course, simple wings do not work with Leslie. Then I'm gonna go in with the... Um, Cover Girl Healthy Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in 755. Um, I love this. And then I'm going to go in with a beauty blend. Not with the beauty blender. Let's see. Get it together. With a Real Technique sponge and blend all of this out. Make sure to blend it down your neck as well if you get a shade that's a little darker. And it's just a good idea. Even though it's the right shade, it's a good idea to blend it down your neck a little bit so that it will match and blend in all the way. And you will have like a foundation line. Then for concealers, I'm going to be using the um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealers, and I'm going to mix these two. Um, I really need to go and get the sand one, which is like right in the mid middle. So I'm going to use medium 25 and then um, light um, from this collection. I'm putting the lighter one towards the inner half of my eye and then the medium towards the outer half of my eye, if that makes any sense. And then I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques. I think it's the highlighting and contour um, blender beauty sponge not blender. <laughs> beauty sponge and I'm just gonna blend all of this out going with the um, airspun loose face powder in naturally neutral and I'm going to take that purple mini um, real technique sponge and I'm going to set my under eyes and everywhere where I put the concealer really Okay, so my camera stopped recording, and I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow in Granite. Um, so sorry about that. And I'm going to take um, this bronzer from the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, and this really fluffy brush by e.l.f., and it's the Total Face Brush. Um, and I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit with this. Then I'm going to go in with that more neutral shade and I'm going to take this Sephora um, blending brush and I'm just going to contour a little bit. Then I'm going to go into this Sephora's Face Blush and Pink Carnation and I'm going to take the e.l.f special powder to brush and I'm just gonna um, apply that with that and I'm gonna take my big blending brush and blend everything out um, then I'm gonna go in with this BH cosmetics brush and that neutral shade and really just contour my nose and sharpen the lines up and everything sorry if you guys hear a baby in the background there's a baby right next to me so <laughs> I'm so sorry about that then I'm gonna take that um, banana shade which um, my camera stopped recording again and I am just showing you guys here what I'm doing like I'm just brightening up a little bit towards the inner corner of my eyes and then really sharpening up those um, contour lines and I'm gonna take my favorite mascara which is the covergirl um, super sizer and waterproof going back into the Carly um, Bible palette and I am taking the mauve shade and the um, light brown shade and smudging that um, on my lower lash line with a Sephora angled brush and I'm also putting um, a little bit of the mascara of the Super Sizer mascara. Then 
Then I'm going to spritz my brush, which it is a paintbrush, and it's the Lowell Cornell Soft Comfort Oval Mop Brush. Um, it's actually a three-fourths of an inch, I believe. And I am applying the um, lightest, one, the first highlight shade in her palette, which is more like a pinky um, gold shade. And then I'm taking those two... Um, shimmer shades and I'm putting that in my inner corner to make it to make everything pop then I'm going to go into the NYX lingerie um what's it called liquid lip which is I believe is in the shade oh my gosh I don't know what it's called but um I don't have it with me here so I will leave it on the screen for you guys Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I hope this thing doesn't cut off on me because I'm trying to film my outro and my intro real quick So, oh wait, I need to turn on my lights <laughs> Okay, I'm so sorry Okay, like I was saying, I have to film my outro I'm going kind of quick because my camera's about to die So, thank you guys so much for watching If you guys like these types of video, then give this video a thumbs up Give me a comment with what you guys want to see on my channel And I'll talk to you guys next time, bye guys Damn uh. Yeah